Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Comment down below saying I subscribe to enter this month's shout out giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Let's take a peek at the current Apple App Store top 10 to see what makes up a successful app. Number 1. PUBG Mobile. Number 2. Fortnite. Number 3. YouTube. Number 4. Snapchat. Number 5. Instagram. Number 6. Messenger. Number 7. Google Maps. Number 9. Bitmoji. And number 10. Gmail. So, what goes into coming up with a successful app? A quick look at any app store's list of the best performing apps will reveal the answer to this question. There are a few striking similarities between these apps and it is these factors that this article will focus on. Here's a look at the strategies one has to adapt when coming up with an app built for success from day one. What do successful apps do? Number one. Successful apps solve problems. Identify your users' needs and work towards making their lives easier. Make them believe they cannot live without your app and you will have created something special. Think big. Do your research thoroughly. If you cannot come up with something entirely original, pick a competitor and create a better version of the concept. Do not blindly imitate because this is the fastest route to failure. Make your app relevant to your users' lives and they will thank you for it. Number two be unique. What do you have to offer that is not already being offered by hundreds of other similar apps? Give your customers value for the time they invest in your app and they will be loyal to you. What do you have to offer? Is it entertainment, utility or convenience? You should also make sure to do some thorough research on the ideas you have to ensure that the final product you get does what you intend it to. Number 3. Think iOS and Android. These are the two most popular mobile platforms in the world today. By cutting out one platform, you are essentially shutting out roughly half of your potential user base. Initiate a cross-platform app development framework from as early in your design process as possible. Doing this will save you the headache that comes with having to develop two separate app versions for two separate platforms. Number 4. Choose a core feature and focus on that. Let your app do just one thing and let it do that one thing really well. Don't pile unnecessary features one on top of another. This will only take away from your user's experience and it is a definite recipe for disaster. Plus, if you focus all of your energies on one thing, you can deliver exactly what your users want and know you did it as best as you could. Pick an action and perform it better than anyone else and your app will become the go-to app for that specific activity. If users ask for more, give in to their demands in later versions, but always cater to their needs. Number 5. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Keep your app clean and simple. Less is more. Try to make your app as efficient as possible with the least number of actions possible needed to perform each action. If your app is cluttered and hard to understand, your users will abandon it without a second thought. Make the actions a user has to perform within your app predictable and repetitive. Make your user interface supplement your good user experience with simple navigation. Number 6. Update it regularly. You need to be able to take in your users' needs and requests, adapt, iterate, and publish increasingly newer, better versions of your app. If you want to be successful, users need to know that you are constantly trying to make their lives easier. Ongoing maintenance, development, and updates are an integral part of this. Your app should always be up to date and relevant. Feedback tells you what you need to improve, what you need to include, and what you need to do away with. Number 7. Allow offline functionality. Your users will probably not always be online 100% of the time. They may even come from countries that do not have the kinds of internet speeds you are used to. So don't let your app rely on an internet connection 100% of the time. Your app should function properly even without an internet connection. Number 8. Niches. The best performing and successful apps fall into one of the following niches. Gaming. As of 2017, there were over 200 million active mobile phone gamers in the US alone. Almost 30% of every app ever created is a mobile game. These numbers are constantly going up all over the world, which means there's no shortage of demand. The mere act of publishing a gaming app will however not guarantee success. The most successful gaming apps are those that were already established popular games before branching into the app market after the user base demanded a mobile app adoption. Examples include PUBG and Fortnite. Photo and Video Platforms The apps that succeeded in this space made it because they took the almost impossible concepts they had and ran with them. YouTube and Snapchat became successful apps because they developed businesses around concepts that no one else would have imagined would be as big as they were. 
Thus, they remained true to their original mission statements by not changing their objectives. The only development changes they implement are to help them stay relevant. Social Media and Networking The most successful apps in the space were also pioneers in their industry. Just like photo and video platform apps, social media apps took unique concepts and made it their own. In the end, social media has become such a large part of our lives that it is difficult to imagine what life was like before Facebook. These apps succeed because they keep a close eye on the behaviour of their users, pick lessons from what they learn, and design solutions to meet these needs. Navigation and Productivity Apps The most successful apps in this niche were already established players before branching off into the app market. Apps such as Google Maps and Gmail already existed in other forms before adopting mobile app forms. They established their stake and made their users believe they cannot live without them, building an unshakable trust with their user base. Utility Apps These types of apps usually owe their success to how they are handled very early on in their existence. If a utility app gets the right kind of marketing and publicity, and an audience that is influential or an audience that will endorse the app to others, the app will gain momentum. This means the success of utility apps can be influenced by social media endorsements and word of mouth. The best example of a successful app in this space is Bitmoji. These are just some of the strategies you can employ as you come up with your app. Do not forget to constantly test your app and to provide a feedback channel for your users to get in touch with you. Also, if possible, offer your app for free with strategic freemiums inside because everyone loves free stuff. The mobile app market is versatile and nothing is straightforward. Its landscape changes quickly and you have to figure out how to keep up with the trends. Your concept, target audience and how you market your app will have a direct relationship with how successful your app will be in the long run. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.